Hi. In the question and answer column, there was some discussion of the effect of a minimum wage, showing that in a competitive labour market, imposing a minimum wage may have the effect of increasing the level of unemployment. However, it was noted that in a monopsony market, the introduction of a minimum wage could in some circumstances lead to a rise in employment and a fall in unemployment. This brief video explains how this could happen. First, let me explain how firms take decisions about the employment level in a perfectly competitive labour market. In other words, a market where the firm has no control or influence over the wage. Here we see a profit maximising firm under perfect competition. The firm can hire as much labour as it likes at the going wage rate W star, and the marginal cost of labour is thus horizontal at that level W star. The demand for labour is given by the marginal revenue product curve. Labour is the derived demand, so firms demand labour not for its own sake, but for the revenue it receives from selling the output produced by labour. Profits are maximised where the marginal cost of labour is equal to the marginal revenue product, and that's here at L star. However, suppose the firm is the only buyer of a particular type of labour. Such a market is called a monopsony. In such a market, the firm faces the market supply curve of labour, which is likely to be upward sloping. This is given by the average cost of labour curve. In other words, if the firm wishes to hire more workers, it must offer a higher wage. In a perfectly competitive market, the equilibrium would be where demand equals supply with a wage at W star and employment at L star. But for a monopsony firm, the marginal cost of labour is higher than the average cost because if the firm increases the wage to attract an additional worker, the higher wage must be paid to all workers. So the MCL lies above the ACL. The firm will hire labour up to the point where the MCL equals the marginal revenue product, which is here at LM. However, the firm only needs to pay a wage at WM the average cost of labour, and hence earns a surplus. The firm is using its monopsony power to increase its profits. So, suppose we have a monopsony firm maximising profits with wage set at W0 and employment L0. Suppose the government impose a minimum wage, let's say at W min, which is above W0. The MCL curve is no longer the marginal cost of labour to the firm, which cannot pay less than W min. So the firm now maximises profits at L min, and employment has increased as a result of the introduction of the minimum wage. Indeed, it's possible that if the minimum wage is set at this level, W min, then the market could end up at the outcome that would have been achieved in a competitive market. So, a minimum wage may not always increase the level of unemployment. I hope that was helpful. Thank you.